First off, what's it feel like to know that you already scored a thousand points in your career in Miami? Shoot, sure, I mean, I don't know. I don't feel. Like, I mean, I'm just excited that we won. To be honest, like it's it's it's, it's a pretty cool it's a pretty cool feat. Um, but I mean, couldn't do it, couldn't do it without my teammates, without everybody that's been passing me the ball and screening for me and her drawing up plays and all that. But um, it's pretty cool. But I'm more excited about the win. We'll get to the win in a second. But what was it like when they made the announcement, your name on the board, and your teammates were almost happier yeah. than you were yeah. that you had already scored? What's that mean? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's awesome when you celebrate each other. It means a lot. Um, and I think it's something that we've continued to work on. And, you know, I'm proud of our team and how we've grown over, honestly, the past week, um, but since summer. And, you know, it's pretty cool when they celebrate you like that. So it was, it was a cool feeling. So you were the leader in most of the stats for the game. So how does it feel to be able to contribute that much to your team's victory? Um, I think that's just me doing my job, to be honest. I think um, coach puts a lot on me and asks a lot of me. But you know, I wouldn't want it any other way. And I think that's my job, um, to try to lead in every category. And I think when that happens, then it's hard for us to lose. Ball movement in today's game was just way better than the last yes. couple. Like, yes. what, what changed in practice this week that made that possible? Um, I think pace, honestly. We talk about pace a lot, and we talk about how the ball's been sticking too much, and we've just, you know, been working on um, running shot clocks down and, and getting our pace up and moving the ball and what it should look like. Um, again, credit to Coach and, and how she's been running practice. But I think we're starting to buy in more. And when it, when it feels good, then you know you buy in more. And I think today's win is going to help us grow in the next couple of games. And then last question for me. I, th I bet you hit the, court, the floor seven, eight times today. Do you almost, do you almost feed off of that in a way? Yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, the body don't like it, but, you know, I don't <laughs> mind it if I'm getting fouls or uh, getting 50-50 balls. That's what you're supposed to do. It's a physical sport. Um, it's a contact sport. So I don't mind getting on the ground as long as, you know, we can get back up. Coach, why don't you just get us started with an opening statement? Man, um, just proud of our team's response. Um, we had a very beneficial practice this week, um, a week of practice. And I just felt like we did a good job carrying stuff over. Um, we look like a basketball team today on both sides of the ball. Um, so just a lot of covering up for each other, a lot of movement, a lot of talking. So it was fun. We talked last week. You were super frustrated with it was very one-on-one -on -one basketball. <laughs> this was ball movement, getting a lot of wide yeah. open layups. You know, what changed? That, just watching it, um, saying it. You know, we have a lot of different pieces. Um, we, we have some matchup issues <laughs> for some nightmares for other opponents. And um, it's just talking to them and understanding how one piece goes with the other. You know, I, I still think um, we're figuring out cohesion and chemistry and all those things. It, it doesn't happen overnight. It's been a total of five months maybe. Um, so I think the more that our team can see collectively how it all works together, we become more of a basketball team. So the team took a early lead and mm -hmm. was up by quite a bit by the end of the first quarter. Do you think that having the lead so early in the game changed the atmosphere? Yeah, yeah, it, it helps a lot, um, especially with a young team. I think um, everybody wants instant gratification, right? And so just the, the carryover from practice, I knew we had to look like something early, you know, just for buy-in purposes and all those things. So, yeah, taking an early lead really helps. Just talk about your effort on the defensive side of the ball. I mean, they've got two just big-time yeah. scores, and I thought you did an outstanding job all afternoon on them. Yeah, that's probably what I'm most proud of. Um, we knew who they were. You know, again, I, I, I laugh because we are really young, and, and even talking about the reasonings behind scout and what that means and how does that look. Well, we knew who their players were today. We knew their tendencies. Um, collectively, uh, we were talking and we were moving, and we took away the actions they really wanted to utilize. So um, overall, I thought we did a better job of um, applying the scout. And then I just get a comment on Peyton. I know we've talked about Peyton a thousand <laughs> times, but I mean, yeah. to get a thousand points this early in her career, yeah. I mean, what's that mean to you? Uh, it means everything to me just because um, I'm just proud of the kid in so many ways. And, and I hope um, at some point when she looks back on her career, she'll be really proud of herself too. At the end of the day, Peyton wants to win. <laughs> you can throw every accolade at her and it, it doesn't really matter to her. You could tell from her response. She just, she doesn't care about that. She wants to win. And I hope at some point when she graduates, she'll, she'll actually understand what it all means.